Hey world, my name is Dan Brown, and I'm here to teach you how to solve one of society's modern day mysteries. Erno Rubik's Magic Puzzle Cube is something that has frustrated millions of people since its release in 1980. But never fear, I'm here to put an end to all that because I'm going to teach you how to solve it. <laughs> first thing I'm going to teach you how to do is cheat. If you want to solve the Rubik's Cube without memorizing everything, twist the top layer 45 degrees, put your finger in here or something else if it's an older cube, pry out that piece, and then you can take out all the pieces and rearrange it so that it's solved. While the cheating is easy, it's not nearly as impressive as actually solving it in front of people. So. I'm going to teach you how to solve it, but before I can teach you how to solve it, I have to teach you the move notation because you're not going to understand anything if you don't understand the notation. This side, the side that faces you, is the front side. This side is the right side, it's on the right. This side is the left side. This top side is the up side. And this bottom side is the down side. Simple. If I was to say front, it means you twist the front side clockwise clockwise as though you were facing the front side, because you are. Um, if I was to say left, twist the left side, clockwise, as though you're facing it. Left inverted is the same thing, but backwards, counterclockwise. Left inverted looks like that. Front inverted looks like this. Up looks like this. Up inverted looks like this. Right looks like that, etc., etc. You get the point. Now that you know the move notation, you're ready to begin learning how to solve it. Now, in learning how to solve it, you have to learn what are called algorithms. While it sounds fancy and complicated and nerdy, it's really not all that fancy. An algorithm is any sequence that, when repeated enough times, the cube returns to its original position. Uh, here is a real basic and a very important algorithm that you need to know. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. If you repeat that six times, then the cube will go back to its original position. There was one. Two, three, four, five, six, and there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached the point where we are ready to scramble and begin learning how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Let's do it. scrambled, and ready to begin solving. At this point, a Rubik's Cube aficionado like myself would normally look all around the Rubik's Cube for which side has the most already done would be the easiest to solve the fastest. But for you, the uh, beginner, we're going to have you start with the green side on your first couple of solves just for the sake of consistency. It'll make things easier, just trust me. If you want to figure out which side of the cube should be what color, it's easy. Just look at the center piece. This side is the green side because the center piece is green. No way that you move the cube can change that center piece. The first step in solving the green side is going to be solving this green cross. In doing this, we have to look for these four green pieces, one at a time. Let's look for one of them. Here's one of them. Before you can get the piece where it needs to be up here, you have to get it directly underneath where it needs to be. So we're going to get this in the bottom layer, and then swing this around to the white side right there. Once we have it there, if we rotate the front side twice, you'll have it lined up. It's important not to just get this cross, but to also worry about this lining up. That's just as important. Occasionally, you'll find yourself in a position like this. You find this green piece right here, green and red line up, you get it underneath where it needs to go, right here, you flip it up, and whoa, it's flipped the wrong way. In the right place, green, red, green, red, but flipped the wrong way. How can you fix it without screwing this up? Well, this is where your first algorithm comes in. This algorithm goes like this. Front inverted, up, left inverted, up inverted. It's a real short, real simple algorithm but it gets the job done. Once you've solved this top green cross, you're ready to start filling in these four green corners. Now, 
The first part of this is very similar to when you're solving the green cross. Before you get a piece up where it needs to be, you have to get it directly underneath. Now we're going to look down here for a green corner piece. Here's one. It is the green, orange, and white corner piece. We have to get it directly underneath this green, orange, and white corner right here. Uh, here it is. There it is. Now, the algorithm to get it from here up to here is this. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. That same one that I showed you in the algorithm demonstration. Now, you're going to need to do this multiple times until this is in the correct place with the correct orientation. So repeat it. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. 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 And there it is. Depending on the orientation of this cubelet when it's directly underneath where it needs to be up here, you're going to have to do the right inverted, down inverted, right down algorithm a different number of times. Like you saw before, it took five times. In this case, when it's directly underneath, it'll take one, two, three times. And sometimes it'll take just once. Once you've gotten all the corner pieces up here, congratulations, you've solved the first side of the cube. But if you've done it correctly, not only have you solved the first side of the cube, you've also solved the entire first layer. 